Thank you, folks. Uh, next up, we've got using NFTs to promote fitness and healthier lifestyles. Uh, Julian, welcome to the stage. Round of applause, everyone, for Julian. Oh, it's written 25 minutes, but I guess it's only 10 minutes, but okay. Thanks for having me and uh, I'm happy to be here for this uh, important topic because I think um, fitness is something and health is something which, which we try to always improve in our daily life and uh, our motivation is something which keeps us sometimes away from uh, doing fitness and uh, so that's why we want to use NFTs to promote, uh, to, to do more fitness and uh, healthier lifestyle. And there's always something uh, what we always try uh, after a year, for example, the most people um, for do, doing New Year's um, Eve resolutions um, and trying to improve their health after um, New Year's Eve. And uh, what we have seen in the top three of uh, in America, uh, the New Year's resolution for 2020 was very important um, to create more exercise, that people wanted to do a more healthier lifestyle and they wanted to lose weight. But the most important or the biggest problem is we are trying to set up new goals, but we are losing our motivation very fast. 73% of this resolution have been failed. So what is the problem actually and um, why our motivation is not keeping running is um, after a study is saying the most people say that we don't enjoy to do workout. And the other thing is if we would do our workout with, with friends and have some challenges, we would, we would be probably more successful. And uh, also the other part is um, the it doesn't feel like a game, we don't enjoy it and uh, if we would feel it more like a game, we would probably keep going um, to do fitness. So we, we call it um, the triangle of uh, the three Fs. So we need fun, we need feedback, and we need also friends to have a more successful um, motivation to continue our sport activities. So this is a triangle which we want to figure out. So if we take a real example, for example, uh, running or playing soccer, we can, if I would ask you, for example, if you would go out for me for running or for soccer, I would say the most people probably would choose to play soccer with me. Why? Because soccer is a much more enjoyable way. We have friends, we have feedback, uh, whether we hit the goal or we have um, some ch challenges or competition on the field, and we have uh, uh, fun. And so, but the output and the outcome, if you do running or soccer, is the same. We have like uh, in 10 minutes of soccer, we have 10 kilometers of walking, and in running as well, we have 10 kilometers of uh, walking. But the effect uh, is different because if we are playing soccer, we are not focusing on doing sport activities. We are focusing on the enjoyment of being with friends, having some challenges. But if we are just running and uh, go out for jogging, we are just focusing on we have to do some sport, we have to keep the goal and go home and uh, that's it. So it's not enjoyable. So that's why soccer is actually a real life gamified sport activity. And gamify is one topic which is very important in the next upcoming topics as well. Because if we are focusing now on gamification, and uh, we have like eight core drives and uh, everything starts with an epic meaning. So we do something because we want to do or get something. And um, so I don't go all through all the eight core drives, but the most important, if we are focusing on gamification, we see like ownership. And this is the real innovation right now, which we have with NFTs. That's why NFTs is uh, important to promote this uh, fitness lifestyles, is because now we have the possibility in gamification to create real ownership uh, in this place. And that's why it's very important topic to um, this innovation uh, tool with NFTs. So I think there's one missing one this is not the mm, doesn't matter okay there's one uh, missing but um, there's actually 
one slide missing which two cups and there's uh, one cup with like two dollar price and one cup with a seven dollar price and it's called like the two dollar price is not mine and the other pr uh, cup is like seven dollars it's an endowment effect it's an effect of ownership for example if we if we think about something what we have um, collected in our lifetime if we have a gift from someone uh, or if we have collected some uh, other gifts from vacation or we have a stuffed animal from our kid or from our childhood we are more or less to sell these products because we are valuing it more because we own something and this is also something like with this dog tag for example what i have here so it's maybe for you guys a normal dog tag, but if I change the way, it's a picture of my son as well. So for me, it's like priceless, so I would not sell it. So this is the criteria of ownership. And um, so this was on the slide, but it doesn't matter. So, uh, so uh, ownership is important because it creates a boundary to something and we are not easy to sell it. It's very important. And um, there's also another effect. If we also have a progress in something, like here on this slide, if we, ha we have a fitness health progression, so our motivation maybe keeps for two months or three months as well. And uh, in this case, we are collecting something, we are creating our personal identity with this NFT uh, through leveling items, rewards. Our NFT increase in value for our emotion and also for the marketplace as well. So if we go for, let me check something, okay. So if we, if we now think about like what is the impact of um, the engagement for ownership means, so we are having a progress of two or three months, we are creating something and the NFT which we have created have been a part of our identity. So, and this ownership of the NFT creates a value for us and also for the marketplace. And with dynamic NFTs, we can create different kind of impacts. So for example, if I would not be inactive anymore on this application, uh, I would lose my value of this NFT. And uh, because of our ownership uh, boundary and our protectionism, uh, we want to keep our value. So that's why we are more likely to go continue to increase our activity because we don't want to lose our valuation and our ownership because this is kind of our identity and we want to protect this identity uh, of decreasing in value. And so there's also different kind of uh, ways how you can uh, valuate, evaluate um, NFTs. And f the first valuation, as I said, is the ownership. We get a boundary, we get emotion, uh, we get uh, like protection for this NFT. And then on the other hand, we can create achievements. So we have like uh, the progress, we are getting rewards, we're getting levels, we can flex to our other social friends, how, m how big we have leveling our avatar and so on. And on the other hand is um, what kind of utility this NFT is creating during our progress. So we can have like access in different social media uh, environments. We have maybe access to different events. We can maybe get also redeemable tokens through our workout um, through this app and have some discounts and also some airdrops is also important. And the other, the last part is like, what is the secondary market giving us um, for this value? And, but this also depends on the exclusivity of this NFT. Okay, yeah, I mean, there was a little bit the wrong presentation, but doesn't matter. Uh, so on the last slide, there was actually the formula of um, how to create a healthy lifestyle application. And um, there was one, fir the first part was like fun, and we had like the three Fs. And this is also with Pokemon Go. I mean, if you think about any fitness application, you actually don't have any gamified fitness application because the uh, application we know, they are actually just tracking your goals. But Pokemon Go is actually the only application which creates like gamification where you're just focusing on the game but doing sport activities. And this is some switch we have to change also for how we think about fitness application in future. The first, we should create some enjoyment 
and then the activity is actually an additional part of it. The second was like NFT plus real world utility. We have to create real world utility with the NFT and ownership to motivate the people to do more. Some of the real world utility could be like decreasing health insurance costs or like, for example, if you have a global company already, you are having like level 100 of this NFT and you are connecting to a brand fitness shop. And this fitness shop already recognizes NFT and see, okay, this is a, a very active at least and he probably needs more um, sports supply. He is directly give, uh, providing you 10% discount of the shops, for example. Uh, there are a lot of um, other different um, kind of ut real world utility which we can discuss um, after the session as well, but my time is already over. Uh, so, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Yeah.